I hope you guys are doing well. I uh, know it's easy to get depressed over the holidays. A lot of comics talk about depression on stage. To me, it's the wrong people that get depressed. You know, it always seems like it's the sensitive, well-intentioned, thoughtful people that seem to suffer from depression, right? It's never someone that you wish would. <laughs> you know, it's never like a like a white supremacist. You know, they have too much get up and go, if anything. Too much. I I go on record, not scared enough, not sad enough. A supremacist, collectively or individually. I prescribe a downer if I could. I can't, but boy howdy, would I? But if you think about it, it would have to be pretty hard to be a depressed supremacist. <laughs> like, white power, but not for me. I haven't earned it. I don't know, maybe you guys. You seem like you're in shape. You have abs. I haven't done a sit-up in like 12 years. I'm a piece of crap. I can't. The marches today, but I don't want to leave my bed. It's so long. And, I don't know, maybe I could just take like a white power nap for 20 minutes and that could contribute to the hate that we know. All right, it's worth a shot. It's just... It's not good. I haven't done laundry in a month. None of these sheets are rally worthy. You gotta bring clean sheets to a rally. That's rally 101. These sheets have stains on them. That's a chocolate stain. What kind of message is that gonna stand? You have a rally, got a chocolate stain on my like, That's not good. I guess I'm just not feeling okay, KK, right now, guys. And that's... <laughs> Read a lot of news. My favorite news story of uh, the past year. You guys might have seen this, was the saga of the Isis Bride. If you guys are familiar with the Isis Bride, kind of like the Princess Bride, both less skin showing. Uh, I'll catch you up. I'll catch you up. Uh, a few years ago, a girl ran away from this country to go join Isis on tour. And um, <laughs> this was back when they were still together. From what I understand, they've broken up now. A lot of solo work going on, writing their own songs. But at the time, touring pretty heavily as a group. She wanted the shirt, so she went to join ISIS. And, uh, at first, when I heard the story, I couldn't believe it. I was like, why would anyone want to leave this country to go live and be with ISIS? And then I read the article, and I found out she was from Alabama. And I'm like, I totally get that. That makes complete sense to me why she wanted do that, you know, ISIS is way more pro-choice over there. Uh, even late, late, late term, they seem pretty on board with. Full-grown adults, they're pretty liberal with the uh, pro-choice position, as opposed to Bama. The thing I find the most unbelievable about that Alabama abortion law, if it goes through, is that apparently any doctor caught performing an abortion can be sent to jail for up to 99 years. Uh, it would be more, but that's where most Alabamans lose count. Uh, yeah, it's a third digit that's a real bitch, I tell you what, that's not right. Don't, don't get me started on geometry, that's the devil's math. That's some unholy stuff right there. I don't know, I feel like maybe Alabama should try carrying an education to term first before... I don't know, maybe start with trying to carry a book to the third chapter before tackling the reproductive system. It's hard, though, because I don't know if you guys know this, but the Alabama Secretary of Education is just a monkey trained to say no to funding, so it's pretty hard. The struggle's real there. At least we're safe here in Minnesota, right? I don't think abortion will ever be illegal in our state. Minnesota's so progressive, the cops shoot white women. So I think that we're pretty <laughs> sick. Oh, no! Oh! oh, a thing happened, then he said it. Oh. oh, wow, you got a lot of nerve being aware. All right, back to the ISIS bribe. Uh, it's okay, I know how to read a room. You guys are an ISIS crowd. I read you loud and clear. Minnesota ice, I think. Uh, so what happened was, this girl, tale is old this time, right? Girl meets boy online, boy's a terrorist, girl flies to Syria, get knocks up, boy dies in a drone strike, girl tries to, it's a tale is old this time. We've all been there. 
we'll let her come back, right? That's a, we're right to be a little scared, you know? That's a connection that's not good. That's gonna show up on a job interview. <laughs> Says in 2013, you joined ISIS? <laughs> Surprised you put this on here. Is that, is that like news ISIS? Like CNN? I, oh, okay. Well, that's horrifying. What, what's that, ma'am? No, I'm, I'm sure you are good at following directions. That's actually what concerns us more so than anything. Is, uh, who's? And while we're on the subject, your letter of recommendation seemed like more of a threat, so I don't think I'll be calling that number at all. Would you say you picked up any skills with ISIS that can easily translate here at Buffalo Wild Wings? Or, uh... No, the parts already come separated. There's no need to... Uh... <laughs> Cut them up. I'll tell you who I feel the sorriest for in this whole ISIS bride saga are her parents. Uh, and I would imagine it's got to be even more difficult to be the parents of the ISIS bride if she's an only child, right? Because let's say you have five kids and one of them... <laughs> joins ISIS. <laughs> That's a four that didn't. That's pretty good. That's 80%. That's, the glass is more than half full of not ISIS, all right? It's the youngest one. You stop caring after three. You can't put that on me. The internet's a thing. I got a job. I can't be there. They join a terror. That's not... But if you only have one kid and that kid joins ISIS, that one's on you. You screwed up. You're a terrible parent. You're one for one on terrorists. You missed too many recitals. Your kid's in ISIS now. That is all on you. And if she isn't an only child, what easier way to hand over that favorite kid trophy to anyone else in the family? They even have to work for it at that point. Like, honey, I can't believe you totaled the car. Yeah, well, it's better than blowing it up and killing 12 Shiites, Mom. Like, that's a good point. That's a good point. I put you in timeout, but your sister used it for planning. I think if fast food restaurants want to get away with paying their employees less than a living wage, the employee should get to fight two customers a month. <laughs> At least. That's baseline. You get promoted, maybe four. Pending performance review. You can't be middle class, you get to kick ass. That's my philosophy. Minimum wage equals maximum rage. That's my stance on it. Because you're not paying them enough to subject themselves to the abuse that goes on in these places, right? If I'm, if I'm getting a decent take-home check, if I'm making a living wage, fine. I'll turn the other cheek. But if I'm only making seven bucks an hour and you bitch to me about your Whopper Junior, I'm gonna quarter pound the shit out of you. That's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna neck punch your dipshit brother that keeps asking for free curly fries refills. He knows it's not policy. <laughs> At the very least, you get rid of that ego that people have at fast food restaurants, right? Like McDonald's, everyone at McDonald's acts like they're better than McDonald's. That McDonald's is somehow beneath them. And you know what? It's not. You went there. You chose to go there. You weren't hooded, brought there, waterboarded with McNuggets till you told them where the bomb was. No, that was a choice you made. McDonald's didn't come to you, right? You didn't have a friends with benefits situation going on with McDonald's and you ghosted it for a month so it shows up drunk on your lawn at 2 a.m. Like, take me back, Rachel. Like, no, screw up, McDonald's. I brought back my McRib. Even so, get out of here, you creep. How'd you find my address? No, you went there. You chose to go to McDonald's, then you act like you're cock of the walk because you got $9. Ooh, oh, hey, guys, Rockefeller's in town. Just, come on. Shape up. Person probably has a checking account. Look alive, boys, come on. Who even has the balls to complain about the quality of their food at a fast food restaurant? Like, oh, sorry, the shit you got was slightly different than the shit you wanted to get, sir, but I assure you it's still shit. And you are 
gonna hate yourself just as much when you eat the whole fucking thing in 90 seconds. That's our promise here, quick and shitty. Oh, what's that? Extra cheese. Oh, you wanted extra cheese. Oh, a thousand pardons, your highness. Sorry I mistook you for someone with an ounce of self-respect. Hey, Marty, can you whip up a fresh fucking burger for this guy? Throw in some extra slices of die young. Tell you what, give me 40 bucks, I'll kill you myself, you fat bastard. How about that? Have a good night, everybody.